The White House Christmas tree will have a part of Connecticut on it this year. One of the ornaments designed by a local artist. And as News 8's Stephanie Simone reports, he has quite the story to tell. What motivates pop surrealist artist Adam Chambers is almost as interesting as his work. I feel like whatever we do in life impacts everybody else. He paints for a living in New Haven and is losing his sight to a rare form of glaucoma. I'm losing my peripheral. That's why this father of four quit his job to pursue his passion. So that kind of motivated me to put things in a fresh perspective um, and, and made me realize, gosh, you know, I, I, if I'm not, if I don't, get serious about this now and really try to make something of it, then I'm, I may not have that opportunity in the future. When he's not painting, he's volunteering. That's part of the reason why the Connecticut Office of the Arts chose him to create the Connecticut ornament to hang in our nation's capital. That was a huge honor. Chambers got the call in early September and he had to put his brush to work. His inspiration, diversity. I wanted to kind of show our connectedness as people, you know, from all walks of life and all different backgrounds. This smaller one will hang in the White House. The bigger one is on the Connecticut tree. I picked um, 11 individuals throughout Connecticut history over the last probably two, three hundred years, so going way back, who in their own way have each contributed to the cause of diversity and tolerance in society. That includes Harriet Beecher Stowe, heroes on the Amistad, and even some who are still living, like Dr. Karen Kangas. She is um, really a hero of mine. She's done a lot of advocacy work for mental health and uh, disability rights. He says the holidays are all about thinking of others and that's what these people represent. Not only do they inspire him, but he hopes they will inspire others. In New Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8.